Hello, beautiful humans. Welcome back. Or if this is your first time moving with me, welcome. I am Freddie. Today we are moving through a funky fluid flow. All right. The keyword being fluid. So I am going to use less cues and we are going to use less engagement. We will be utilizing a strap in the beginning. If you don't have a strap, that's fine. You can use a belt. Uh, you could even use a broomstick, all right? We, we're just looking for something like so that we can hold on to as we floss our shoulders a bit. So grab your prop of choice, and when you're ready, we'll meet in a comfortable seat. All right, so bring your strap behind you. We're just going to jump right in today just to save on some time. And yeah, this is supposed to be fluid, so let's just get into it. <laughs> All right, so yes, bring your prop behind you, broomstick, whatever you're using, and take your palms face up. Now take one hand underneath, grab your strap or your, your prop, and bring your thumb on top. Other hand, same thing. So you're holding your object like so. And then lengthen your arms out, okay? So there is no slack on the strap. Our elbows are not bent, right? Maybe softly bent, uh, but we're, uh, you know, we're not hanging out here like this, but everything is nice and tight. Now, in one of our flows, we're going to essentially be moving in a half circle around the yoga mat. So a lot of this movement is going to come from the glenohumeral joint right here, right? So actually, you know what? Drop your strap for a second. Take your right hand to your left shoulder. And go ahead and just kind of draw circles with your left fingertips so you can get a feel, you know, for what's what's going on in there. If you're like, what? This lady's crazy. It's okay. Just bring your imagination to the table then, <laughs> right? Let's play. Feel free to bend through the elbow. It's all good. This is the, you know, the point of this is the shoulder joint. Cool. Now switch sides. Take your left hand to your right side and begin to do the same thing. <clears throat> so yeah, let's just bring some mobility into the shoulders to start just so that we can set ourselves up for a nice uh, ease full practice. <laughs> All right, keep going. Stay nice and lifted in the crown. So notice if you started to slouch forward, it's okay. Just Bring the awareness back. Okay. Cool. Release that. Do you want to give your fingers a little shake? Go for it. Felt natural to me. <laughs> All right. And now go back to your strap. Go ahead and, and grab it. Thumb is on top. The rest of the hand is underneath. No slack. Elbows are straight. And then nice and slowly, we're going to bring our finger to or bring our hands a little bit, you know, towards one another just so that we can really find, um, you know, you know, <laughs> okay, whatever. Once you have a nice long prop, bring it up and above overhead and then bring it forward. If that was easy, bring your hands closer towards one another. Okay, same thing. Lift it up, elbows are straight, prop is long, bring it back and around. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I have been a little under the weather lately, so uh, this is my first time really putting any effort into anything. <laughs> so stick with me. And then keep that going back and forth. Now, for me, I need to separate a little bit here. Ooh, yeah. Mm hmm. And then just keep going. No slack, long arms, tall torso. Soft face. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Soft toes. And happy thoughts. Why not? Let's get intentional, right? We can change anything, including our thought process. All right. Bring it in towards the middle. Maybe, maybe not, right? I'm going to explore that. So maybe you join me. We're almost done with this part. So, ooh, meet your edge. Meet your edge. And if you go somewhere and it's like, mm, no, never mind, go back. It's okay. That's where the longevity of our practice lies, when, we're, when we really listen to our body. 
Okay, one more back, one more forward. Beautiful, and then release. Move the strap somewhere away from self, and then come forward, tabletop pose, all fours. If you feel like you need a little more, feel free. Maybe you come back to your uh, heels for a moment and just draw circles with the elbows, like so, right? <clears throat> and then whenever you are ready, meet us in tabletop. And then take it away, cat cow. Again, I'm not going to cue this. I just want you to find uh, some organic movement that feels good in your body. Soft bend in the elbows. Just going to throw out those loving reminders. If you want to take this all the way forward to Cobra and all the way back to a child's pose, go for it. If you want to draw circles with the hips, go for it. Mm. Relax the skin of the face. Press into the tops of the feet. Just to find that full body experience, yeah? A couple more rounds of breath just to explore. Claw into the fingertips. Find that intention even within the palms of the hands, right? The hand placement. Claw into the earth. Press into all your knuckles. Find that firm grip. That's where your stability is. All right, and then send it all the way back. Child's pose, Balasana. Take a moment here. Set an intention for your practice if that's your jam. And my intention is to find softness throughout this movement. Feel free to bring your forehead down to the earth. Rock your head side to side. Stimulating that point of intuition. Really, really giving yourself even more of an opportunity to practice using that listening muscle, right? Awesome. Find stillness. Press into the tops of the feet. Ripple yourself forward. Come into your version of a cobra. And if that means you bend your elbows and come down a little bit, that's fine. Gaze is forward. Crown is long. Dip your chin just slightly. Inhale. And exhale. Curl the toes under. Lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Walk your feet forward just a bit. And let's take some twists. Shift your weight into your left palm. Hover your right hand. Bring your right hand to the outside edge of your left leg, wherever that is. Maybe your calf, maybe your ankle, maybe your knee. Gaze under your left arm. Big breath in. And exhale to release. Switch it out. Plant. Grip the right palm. Hover the left hand. Bring it over towards the right leg and twist it out, my friend. Inhale. Big breath. Gaze under your right bicep, tricep. And exhale to release. Beautiful. Downward facing dog. Bend the knees. Inhale. Take your gaze forward. And exhale. Slowly make your way to the top of the mat. However you see fit. Having a little moment of self-expression. We'll meet in a forward fold. Grab opposite elbows. Sway side to side as you bend one knee and straighten the other. Allow the torso to move in an organic way. Soften something. Mm -hmm. And then find stillness. Left elbow towards left knee. Right elbow goes over towards the left. Press into the soles of the feet. Rise up. Right elbow is leading, yeah? Come up through a mountain pose, still grabbing opposite elbows. And then take it down. Right elbow towards the right. Right elbow comes down towards the knee. Left elbow towards left knee. Open it up, right elbow towards the left. Press into the feet to shoo, root to rise. And keep this going. Right elbow down towards the right knee. Left elbow towards left knee. Right elbow towards the left. Root down to rise up. And take it down. Right elbow towards right knee. Left elbow towards left knee. Pause. Let's go the other way. Left elbow towards the right. 
Press into the feet, rise up, big breath in, sundial pose. Exhale, take it down towards the left, left elbow towards knee, right elbow towards right knee, left elbow towards the right, and shh. Beautiful, one more on your own. Beautiful. Take it all the way back down. And then maybe you bring your feet together if you want a little extra balance challenge or keep your feet hip width apart. A little space between the heels if you did bring your toes together. Bend your knees, send your hips back. Elbows go forward, chair pose variation, Utkatasana. Lengthen your tailbone. So we are not booty popping in this version, right? Tailbone is nice and long. Soften your jaw. Release the fingertips, send them forward. Inhale. Exhale, palms kiss. Take your left elbow towards your right knee. Chair twist, inhale in. Exhale out. Nice and slowly, shift your weight into your right foot. Lift the left heel up. Now you can stay here and just draw your circle around or lift your left toes up, bring your heel towards your glute. Send the left knee back around, bring it behind the right knee, extend the left leg, outside edge of the foot plants. Press into the sole of the right foot, outside edge of the left foot, we're in this crisscross shape. Rise up, inhale, reach. Exhale, right hand to left wrist, tilt over towards the right. <sighs> Hips go forward, gaze under your top arm, inhale. And exhale to release, rise back up, reach tall, inhale. Exhale, palms kiss. Bring it down halfway, crown of the head reaches forward. Plant your left palm over towards the left side of the yoga mat. Lift this left foot up and extend it out even farther towards the right, foreshadowing for our flow. You can readjust this right foot if you want. Inhale and lift your hips, claw into the left hand. My fingertips are still facing forward because I'm getting used to this um, you know, rotation in the, in the shoulder. Inhale in and exhale out. Plant the right heel down. Mine was lifted, so if yours was too, lift it or <laughs> lower it down. Sorry. And now, big move here. We're going to take this left leg that's extended out towards the right, and we're going to bring it back around and land in a twist. Okay? So stabilize through your foundation that's pointing forward, meaning <laughs> your left hand and your right foot. Reaffirm. What's it going to take to lift the left foot up? and send it around, plant the toes, boom. Inhale, open up towards the right. And exhale out. Nice and slowly, bring the right fingertips down. Heel toe, heel toe, this right foot back in. Bend through the back knee, step it up. Ah, forward fold. Find your footing. Inhale, halfway lift your version. Exhale, fold. Press into the feet. Inhale, root to rise, reach for the sky, get nice and tall. Exhale, chair pose. Shh. Awesome. So as we move through this, I will be using less cues, but just to get familiar with our movements, right? Uh, they're kind of, there's going to be some, you know, <laughs> I'm going to cue it up a little bit. I got to let you guys know what we're doing. All right, inhale in, chair pose. Exhale, other side, right elbow, left knee. Twist it out, my friend. Love on your spine. And now shift your weight into your left foot, lift the right heel. Now again, you can keep the toes on the earth the whole time and bring them around, you know where we're going, or lift the heel up towards the glute. Send the knee around, behind the left, plant the outside edge of the right foot down, and inhale, press down into the sole of the left foot to rise up, inhale. Exhale, left hand to right wrist, tilt over towards the left. I must have that backwards. Hips go forward, gaze under this top arm, big breath in. And exhale out. Release. Inhale, reach up. Palms kiss. Exhale, forward fold halfway, crown of the head reaches forward, legs are still twisted. Now, right hand plants. Maybe you take your fingertips forward. Lift your right foot, send it out even farther. Put your left stiletto on, readjust this foot if you want. Inhale in, big breath. And exhale out. You can always come on to knuckles too for this supporting hand, right? If that feels good, if that feels better, always know that that's an option. Inhale. Now, what's it going to take to swing this right leg around? Let's do it. 
Plant the left foot if it was lifted like mine. <laughs> Lift the right foot up. Send it around. <sighs> Inhale, twist. This time, exhale, bring the left palm down, readjust yourself, and send the left toes back. Plank pose, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here. Begin to pedal it out. Soften your jaw as you really push the earth away with your hands. Bend the knees, lift your tailbone up. Keep pressing. Push the earth away. Relax the point between your brow bones. Lift your heels, bend the knees, lift the hips up a little higher. And slowly lower down towards the knees, towards the shins. Rotate through your wrists. And give your forearms some love. All right, we have a little foreshadowing flow, and then we'll get into the funky flow. Of course, the funky flow, by the time we get there, that's going to be the real fluid part, right? Uh, so, of course, uh, once we get at any point in this, in this practice, take the things that resonate and leave the rest behind. I know that this is funky. This is weird. A lot of us may have never done these movements before, but you know that I love my funky transitions. So, <laughs> and obviously you do too if you're here. Uh, so... Grab anything, uh, grab some water, anything that you want, and then when you're ready, we're gonna meet in a downward facing dog. Take your time. Mm -mm. All right. When you are ready, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Bend through both knees, and then lift the right knee up towards the sky, like we're opening through the right hip. Inhale in again. And exhale out. Now bring this right knee down, straighten through the left leg, pivot your torso over towards the left, and your left heel is gonna drop sole to foot plants. Extend the right leg, send it out long, fall in triangle. Inhale in. And exhale out. One more big breath, push the earth away. And exhale, bring the left palm down. Pivot, inhale, send the right leg up and back, three-legged dog, same thing that we started with, so lift that knee up. And then exhale, bring the right knee up towards the right tricep, pause, and then plant the foot outside of the pinky. Inhale, open up towards the right, and exhale out. This time we're gonna step this back foot forward, okay, over towards the right, just like we, send it, we just sent it back, we're gonna send it forward and then back again. When you're ready, Bend through the back knee. What's it going to take to step it up and over towards the right? Inhale and lift wherever you are. Exhale to reverse that movement. Send the left toes back. Plant the right palm. And let's do that same thing on the same side one more time. Inhale, lift the right knee up. Bend through both legs. Open through the right hip. Here we go. Crossing it over towards the left. Fall in triangle. Drop the back heel down. Extend the right leg. Inhale, push the earth away. Express yourself. Exhale, plant the left palm, readjust, inhale, three-legged dog, rewind, right leg goes up towards the sky. Exhale, bring it up and over, <sighs> lizard shape, plant the right foot outside of the right pinky. Inhale, open up towards the right, find a soft bend in the back leg, and then <sharp inhale> step it up and over. Put your right stiletto on, inhale, and lift your hips, and use your exhale to transition. <sighs> Send the left leg back. This time, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, lift the left leg up, bend through both knees, and take the left knee up and over towards the right side. Pause, cultivate heat here. Feel the engagement of your upper back as you really push down into the yoga mat. Inhale in. Exhale, fall in triangle, straighten through the right leg, pivot yourself, back foot plants, extend the left heel. Inhale in. Exhale to stay, nice and strong, firmly rooted in this bottom hand, claw. Inhale and lift your hips. And exhale out. Out of it the same way we came in, right palm down. Inhale, lift the left knee up, three-legged dog, bend. And exhale, left knee towards left tricep, lizard. Inhale, open up towards the left, pause. Think about it. 
and then what's it going to take to step this right foot out and over towards the left let's do it boom put your left stiletto on inhale in and exhale out same way come go out of it the same way we came in boom left palm down inhale three-legged dog lift the leg lift the heel bend the knee and exhale fall in triangle drop your back heel send your left leg out towards the right inhale lift your hips push the earth away and exhale bring it down <sighs> inhale three-legged dog lift open and exhale bring it up lizard twist it out inhale exhale find your bend find your stability and boom step it up over towards the left inhale in and exhale out same way that we came in boom plant the left palm send the left toes back plank pose inhale in exhale lower the knees send the booty back child's pose interlace your fingertips up and behind your tailbone draw the knuckles up towards the sky just get a nice pec stretch and allow your knuckles to lift you up into this upright kneeling position. Head over heart, heart over pelvis. Twist your heart over towards the left. Active twist, right? Our hands are bound, so we can't use them to force anything. And switch, go the other way. And release. All right, downward facing dog for our final flow. We're gonna piece everything together. We're gonna move through this probably three times on each side. Uh, and then we'll quickly cool it down and be on our way. So downward facing dog, take your time. And then let's go. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend the knee. Take the toes over towards the right. Open the hip. Fall in triangle. Same thing that we just did. Take the left leg over towards the right. Extend through both legs. Lift your hips up. Inhale. And exhale. Listen carefully. This is where the change is. Shift your weight into the outside edge of the left foot. Lift your right foot up and bring it in front of the left toes. Yeah, same thing. Bend through the bottom leg. Bring the foot forward and in front of those right toes now. Here we go. Lift the right knee up. Inhale. Exhale. Plant the sole of the foot down. We've already been here. Send the left leg around. Twist it out. Inhale. Heel toe the right foot back in. And exhale. Right palm comes down. Send the right leg up and back, ready for the other side. See, not that big, but, you know, pretty fun. Bend the knee, take the toes over towards the left. Open the hip, inhale. Exhale, fall in triangle. Take it away, my friends. Cool. Pause here as we shift our weight into the front leg. Lift the left knee and then plant the foot in front of the right toes. Bottom leg comes under. Lift the top knee, inhale, and then plant the sole of the foot down. Boom. Here we go. Right leg is going to go back. Twist it out. Find your version. And plant the palms. Step it back. Three-legged dog. Left toes lifted. Bend the knee. Open up. Fall in triangle towards the right. And lift your back toes. Step them forward. Left toes underneath. And right knee lifts. Plant the sole of the foot. Plant the sole of the foot. Lift your left leg. Send it back and around. Beautiful. Right palm down. Inhale. Lift the right leg up. Bend the knee. Take your toes over. Open. And take it under. Fall in triangle. Lift your left foot. Bring the toes forward. And bottom foot underneath. Lift the left knee. Express yourself. Plant the sole of the foot. Boom. Send the right leg around. Twist it out. And plant the palms, downward facing dog, left leg is high. Bend the knee, take the toes over. And thread it underneath, fall in triangle, take it away. Lift your back foot, up and forward. Bottom foot forward, right knee up, plant the sole of the foot. Lift the left foot, send it around. Open up. And bring it down, right leg is lifted. Bend the knee, open the hip. And thread it. Send the leg underneath. Fall in triangle. And lift the back foot up and forward. Bottom foot. Lift the left knee. Lift, lift, lift. Plant the foot down. Lift the back foot. Send it around. 
Let's do one more round on each side just in case you're, you're getting it just now. Awesome. Open up, plant the foot, or plant the palm. <laughs> Send it back. Three-legged dog, left leg is lifted. Last round on each side. Inhale to open it up. Exhale, thread it. Send the left leg under. Fall in triangle. Right leg up and over. Left leg underneath. Right knee up, up, up. Plant the foot. Send the right leg back. Plant the right palm. Right leg lifts. Inhale. Bend the knee. Open. And take it over towards the left fallen triangle. And left leg up and over. Right leg under. Left knee up, up, up. Plant the foot. And right leg goes back around. Express yourself and release, ah, plant the palms, send the toes back, quick plank pose, and lower the knees, send the hips back, child's pose, take a rest. Hmm. I hope that was fun, <laughs> hope it wasn't too confusing. Hmm. If you would like a really long, it's not really long, it's like 40 some minutes, uh, but we do this, we add a bunch of really fun movements into a practice that involves this uh, over on the Vimeo, it's really fun. <clears throat> All right, and interlace your fingertips back behind your tailbone, opposite thumb on top this time, so the one that feels weird. And then pull your knuckles up and allow that to lift your torso. Beautiful, active twist towards the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Come back to center. Keep your fingertips lifted. Lift your hips up above your knees. Bring your knees hip width apart. And then take your knuckles to your sacrum. Finding a little camel variation, Ustrasana. Press the tailbone down towards the backs of your knees. Hips go forward, gaze is up. Elbows squeeze in. Inhale deeply. And exhale to release. <sighs> awesome. Bring your palms forward. Come on down to your belly. We're just going to stretch out the pecs a little bit. We're going to roll onto our back from here to, too. So if you know that you want to face the opposite way, maybe you flip around. <sighs> and then once you come down, find a, a T shape within your arms. Fingertips go left to right. Tense your left fingertips. Elbow goes up towards the sky. Lift your right toes, bending through the right knee. And now lift the toes up so that the quad, the right quad comes up off of the earth. Bring your toes back behind you and allow them to tap the space behind on the earth. Cool, stretching through the left pec. Mmm, feel free to plant the sole of the right foot. Do whatever you want here. I like to keep my heel lifted. So if your pecs are a little sore tomorrow, uh, give them some love. The interlacing behind, that's super. This is a great one. Cool. Release and switch. Right arm extends, left fingertips plant, elbow up, left toes lift, quad lifts, and draw your little rainbow behind. Toes kiss the earth. Hmm. Hmm. Now we're going to come onto our back from here. So you can do that any way that feels comfortable. So if that means pressing into your left palm, lifting up, right arm over, cool. If you want to roll the entire other way and just, you know, it's all good. I'm not even on my mat now and I don't care. Bring the knees into the chest. Grab the outside edges of your feet or your ankles. I'm nursing a hamstring injury in my left leg, so I'm gonna grab my ankles because that just feels more gentle, feels better today. <clears throat> so whatever is gonna give you a nice stretch through the backs of the legs, backs of the thighs, your hips, Wherever you are, bring your low back nice and flush to the yoga mat. Mm, find some movement here. Yay. 
rotate through the ankles if you're holding your ankles or your lower shins like me. Feels good. All right. And then bring the knees together. Grab your knees and send them forward. Oh, my gosh. Just allowing this resistance within your own body here, right? Your knees are pulling on your arms. Allow this to be therapeutic. Maybe you feel it in your low back. I do. Hmm. And softly release the knees. Allow the feet to kiss the ground. Robot your arms, so bring your elbows down, fingertips up. Press into the soles of the feet, and when you're ready, keeping your shoulders down, lift your hips up, shins go forward. Little baby back bend, we're not pushing it here, just find a little opening in the front body, and then slowly lower. Beautiful. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide. Left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly, and take a moment here and scoop to Baddha Konasana. Coming back to your affirmation that you may have chosen in the beginning of class. And nice and slowly begin to close your knees, close your book. Roll over onto one side, any side, and press yourself up. Coming into a nice, comfortable seat. And switch the crossing of your legs. So whatever leg landed in front, switch it out. Thank you so much, my friends, for choosing this video. If you made it this long, thank you so much. Uh, and please, if you have any requests, uh, drop them in the comment section down below. If you would like more practices like this, you can find them over on my Vimeo, uh, my on-demand subscription there. It is Flow with Freddie. I will also link that in the description down below. Uh, please comment, share, subscribe, like, do all the things. And uh, yes, thank you so much. Share yoga with your friends. We need more of this uh, in the world, yeah? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll close this out together by bringing the palms together. Lift your thumbs up to your third eye. Inhale in. And exhale, we bow. The divine in me recognizes and honors the divine in you. Thank you so much, my friends. Namaste.